this angel mix special for Kathleen that's my long time subscriber and uh, she always support me like many of you here and the champagne cup is like the same thing that I got the uh, candy the centerpiece the other day I'm just using the top here but it's upside down the pointy stay on the top like that I got the leaf in the back like this the fall leaf from a Dollar Tree get the bat and you can use as much as you can too just follow my video I have some ribbon here but it makes like a pearl tie off I got this from my um, local fabric store everyone is so awesome and also the glue gun I have this um, glue gun and look at that doesn't matter how much how many times you clean it but when I done I put it down like that that's why I touch everything so don't mind me for that everyone so what I need to do with this cup I'm going to glue the leaf from the bottom all the way to the top here. So whatever color you decide to use, I'm going to leave at least like the pointy of the the middle leaf to stay in like that. And go all around. I have the first layer is finished so let's see if she's staying it's gonna be like that you see that now in between now going up you're going to do exact the same but go in between those two with these two two leaf here you go going to get the next one go in between This for Thanksgiving centerpiece. It looks so beautiful on your table. Continue to glue. As long as you have the whole thing over. Try to pay attention to leave too. When you have a goal there, I'm about to get the goal, but then it's overlap, so I stop. you can see keep on going go in between you have to have the little yellow leaf to go in between here but first i have to let that go down first you see when it's sticking there feel free to get the leaf and push it down That golden leaf is so beautiful. So you see this sticking out? Feel free to get the glue and then stick it back in. So that way when you have the next one come in, it won't it won't stick out too much. Like that. When it goes to the top here, I make sure that I get the small part on the on the leaf coming down like that, so it stay down. Get the golden here, so pretty. It's so cold here this morning. When I drop the kid off in school, I'm like, "Can you go in?" Then I'm going to, I'm going home, but I feel bad. I'll hang around, <laughs> and I wait until they get to the door, like get into the building, then I left. You go on to sit her down to see if this is the way you want. When I get to here, I'm going to hold this right here and I'm going to get the one here to wrap around this. 
Try, try not to push too hard because it doesn't look good. I want to add the glue here all around and I'm going in here. I use 10 inches and I'm going to cut this out everyone. So I'm going to use this. This has a little metal thing in here. Try to push it and it's sticking out right here. You can take this out everyone. You don't need it but save this so you can wrap something later. So pull this out. I'm going to fold this like this so I have the center right here. When I have the center I'm going to add this in. I'm going to put the, the glue here. When I put the glue here, I'm going to fold it down right in the middle. I'm using the pumpkin side for the front. When, I, when it stays down, I'm going to add one right here and bring this up halfway. And this one too, add the little glue here and bring it up. Same thing like that. And hold your hand there because you want it to stay down. So in the back here, add another glue and bring this down. For this one too, add the glue and bring this down. You see how beautiful? Easy. So, everyone, I have make two. That's the ribbon in the back here. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Add the ribbon. This one right here for the wind. I'm gonna be placing it right here, and I'm going to glue it on the the neck right here. After you position the angel, and you want wood side, you want her to be facing out like the front. So that is the fun. That's the wind. You can add the back here. The back side of the ribbon facing the back side of the ribbon in the back here. So that way you can look both sides from the back and from the front of the angel. Hold your hand there. I'm going to glue this two part together. The end of the bow here. your hand there a little bit everyone because you don't you don't want it to be like open like that it doesn't look so nice so fold it together when it's done you're going to do the same thing to this side so add the glue at the fold here along the way hold this together the front and the back of the wind I have the ornament here you can get that from a Dollar Tree and uh, this have the gold one and the white one with the glitter or you can use just um, the um, the glitter one but i think after i try it on i like this nice and shiny golden better take this out from the ornament hold right here with the glue right there just like that in the middle I have the white ribbon here. You can use different color. I'm just using this, everyone. I'm going to wrap around her neck. So scary. And I'm going to tie this here. 
go from the back here. And you want to do something always start from the back everyone if you want to hide and the um, thing here. I'm gonna go up here a little bit. And then you see it right here that connect into the next one. I'm gonna cut this extra. Grab the glue here and then pull this one up. So look at this everyone look how beautiful the four angel is thank you so much for watching everyone please stay safe and take care and i hope you make this for your thanksgiving and or you can uh, make it bigger like i say and you can do at the centerpiece so beautiful isn't she pretty stay safe and take care everyone